Hello! <laughs> and that's when you told her only on Wednesdays, right? Right, Wednesdays. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad it was. Oh, hello there. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, <laughs> welcome to... Welcome back. It's a brand new week. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Drunk Doctor Who, Heroes and Villains, episode number 40, Scarath. Don't worry, we still have perfect recollection. Yeah. From the bad guy from the City of Death with uh, Tom Baker and Romana. Uh, the Doctor Companion we're currently on. Also four episodes. Yep. Except we have Romana 2 this time, skipping for a few companions. Yep. Let's see. Skara. The Black Guardian is pretty much the only super big villain during Romana 1 because it was all he's, season long. He's like a yeah, season overarching villain. Yeah. And then the rest of hers were... She finally saw the Daleks, didn't she? Or no? No. Cyber... Sontarans. Something. <laughs> she finally saw one of the Reaper villains. Hmm. Let's see. I think it was the Sontaran she finally saw. Rivost Operation. Pirate Planet. Uh, Most, the City of Death. Mostly one-shots. Yeah. Um, no, no, no. It was Romana 2's first episode where she saw the Daleks. Ah. Uh, Remember? And the, the, the space AG guys, the robots. Two, no. I get one and two confused. Yeah. Um, oh, we see Romano 2 screwdriver. Yeah. <laughs> no, that sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Anyway, uh, so City of Death, you know, awesome classic. And it has an awesome classic villain. Uh, both Scaroth and Sutek were so good as villains that we ended up, because Tom Baker has seven seasons, we went ahead and did two one-shot villains for him because we couldn't this, break the yeah, tie anyway. This was, <laughs> we don't have a single tiebreaker. <laughs> That's, is that why we're always arguing? Hmm. So this and was your vote. Making your, your, yeah. your favorite one-shot. <laughs> All right. Um, anyway, so... Absolutely fantastic serial. Uh, the actor who plays the bad guy, the main bad guy in um, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, plays this bad guy. Really, I didn't recognize him. I yeah. think he told me that last time. Yeah, he looks younger. For well, yeah, he's younger here. Um, uh, fantastic cast all the way around. Everybody's really good in it. Uh, the bad guy is the last of what's his race called. Jagaroths? Yeah, the last of the Jagaroths. He's got the entire Jagaroth race, you know, apparently in his spaceship or something. I guess they're yeah. DNA or they're miniaturized, but he talks with them and weird stuff. And discs or something. Yeah, but man, he pulls off that, that the face mask really? and it's this uh, <laughs> ugly looking thing yeah. with yeah. one eye. Apparently his... his Consciousness and physical form had been shattered and splintered, splintered um, to different um, timelines and areas. It always, I always wondered how he got such a good face mask <laughs> in each timeline. Like, it must be a thing on his show. No. He can make them. <laughs> Remember, in some of them, he's not wearing a mask. But, Remember the Egyptian papyrus that showed him he, as he was? Right, yeah, but they probably just worshipped him like a god. But he had a mask. Like when he was hanging out with Leonardo da Vinci. Yes. And they didn't have great masks back then. You think in Egypt he had the mask, he's just really sweaty in the <laughs> desert and they took it off? No idea. Be quite a jump scare. No but, you know, magnificent performance. Um, even the cameo. Yeah. yeah it's really <laughs> hard for one actor to play such a complicated, multi faceted. Multi faceted <laughs> character. Yeah. Is a, is a cool overworking mystery that you got to discover as the viewer with the Doctor. Yep. You know, was, oh, he can time travel too? Oh, that's another him? Yeah. And it, it'd be really, really cool if he could come back, but no, he's blown into smithereens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of what happened to him the first time, right? Didn't they just recreate the thing that happened to him the first time his planet exploded? And then they blew up his spaceship the same way? Well, this spaceship caused, supposedly, the beginnings so, of life on Earth because it gave the spark to the primordial soup, which... Yeah, the, the warp drive, it. but it also shattered him. Yeah, so... He, he created humans. <laughs> yeah, well... Or all life on it, Earth. In theory, so... Uh, it's science fiction. 
Um, all they all they did was go back in time and stop him from stopping himself mm. uh, from beginning the Earth. But he'd uh, wait. Say that again. They stopped. All they did was they went back in time. And they stopped him from stopping himself from beginning the Earth, from beginning the life on Earth, because he was trying to stop himself from taking off. And they had to right. stop him. He didn't want to spoil himself. Right, right. He, he. They had to stop him from stopping himself from starting life on planet. Earth. A little bit more uh, confusing of a plot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was, that was written by Douglas Adams. It you know? was a Douglas Adams script, so it's it is very good. Yeah, it's a mystery. Well, he, Douglas Adams that. wrote two other serials. Um, Shadow was good. But of course, it wasn't finished until I completed it with the animation. The other Shada. one, yeah, we just watched Shada two uh, last month. Yeah, that was one I was looking forward to. Yeah. Oh no, 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 that was that was this month. That was, yeah, that was before the Leisure that, Hive. Yeah, that was the third three, three weeks, weeks ago. ago. Yeah. Skagroth. Mm-hmm. So Skagroth, we we never see him again. Nope. But we could. No, I think this, well, we could, in theory, go back and see him back in time. I guess I could say that about he, every villain. Right, he got killed at the end of <clears throat> that serial yeah, he's probably by his uh, manservant, you know? Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, yeah, theoretically, literally, if, you know, they went back to Rome, they could bump into him. We but they see one piece of him. They'd have to insert him in. The actor's passed away. I mean... The doctor did seem like he's he's gone to see Leonardo da Vinci m- multiple times. Yeah, and and so did Skagroth apparently. Yeah, so they could run into each other again in the past or the future. The future, uh, unlike Sutek, because Sutek would have to get out of that deal. He, which... He's more of a dimensional being. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So I don't think either of them are coming back. All right, do you have any comments? Funnily enough, um, this was the. Uh, last one we had by Douglas Adams, right? Uh, shot. Yeah. Shot. Oh, you just said that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now, it'd be funny if they, uh, you know, went back to the Egyptian pyramids and they showed him on the wall. He's not Listen. our only Egyptian villain we've had. No, I'm thinking of the Aztecs. They're not Egyptian. Yeah, I guess we've never been to Egypt before. Yeah, that'd be a cool one. A historical, an Egyptian historical. That way you get to find out cats are sentient. And they, <laughs> that's no. why they worship them. The, um, I think we can go back at some point. If reincarnation was a thing, I'd, I'd be risen as a cat in Egypt. There you go. Or a cow in India. Cow? Yeah. They like cows there. Yeah. yeah. They do. They're not supposed to eat beef. Yeah. Just put easy life. Some people do. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. Well, thanks for joining us. Um, we know you were planning on seeing this today. Uh, you were planning on one. seeing uh, Megalos, but we'll see that next week. Megalodon? No, Megalos. Meg? What did she lose? Megalos. <laughs> four episodes next week. Yep. Well, okay. All the rest of these are four episodes until <clears throat> we get to uh, Davison. And then he has he started the hour long ones. Uh, he does during his time, yeah. But he mostly has four parters, and he has a uh, black ochre. It's a quick two parter. So what are we what are we gonna do when we get into the new stuff? Because the what what are the seasons? They're all hour long episodes. Series. They're series. Uh, they're about forty five minutes. They're almost exactly twice as long as uh, the current episodes we're watching. But they're only one episode each. There are two parters and there are three parters. Oh, rarely though. Yeah, um, especially so, the first season. Uh, there's one, two two parters. Um, so overall, our pace is going to slow down. Uh, essentially, yeah. Because a two parter would be like the equivalent of what a the four parter. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I mean. Um, but there's also less episodes of these, right? The correct. The, stuff. the series, the newer stuff has. Uh, about 13 episodes. So we'll be about then, on the same pace, right? Yeah, as opposed to the 26. Now, nothing beats the episodes out of the 60s, because it was like 40-something episodes a season. 
Could but you imagine right, <laughs> if they went back to that? <laughs> but right now they're sitting at uh, they're sitting at about where we are here, uh, an average of about twenty six episodes a season. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, they, because this one's twenty eight, but they use some of the money they had left over from Shada, so it's seven four parters. Ah. But yeah, the That's a lot. yeah the pacing will slow down partly because more stories, fewer episodes, mm-hmm. but also because we will hit all of the um, sideshow stuff. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to watch. Well, we've got a lot more right. apocrypha, uh, plus you know, Canine and Company, mm-hmm. um, which is apocryphal. Um, sorry, not Canine and Company. That's a spinoff. Uh, but you've got, you got Sarah Jane Adventures, right. you have Torchwood, you have Class, and then apocryphally you have Canine. That was just the pilot? The no, pilot? that was Canine and Company. Canine is the Australian one. So there's Canine, Canine and Company, and then Sarah Jane Smith Adventures. Sarah Jane Adventures, all of Canine. Yes. <laughs> Yep. Popular, popular companion. Yeah. The yeah. most popular companion? No, Sir James. It's just one that had its IP freed up, unlike... Well, companions. he he and Sir Jane were both in the Sir Jane Adventures and Canine Company. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, the guy who voices him and owns the rights to it mm-hmm. licensed it out to the Australian for the Canine, which is why. That was about the same time they changed the voice actor for the Canine and the main show, right? No, no, no. It was much, much, much later. Oh. Because they, they changed the one year, the year we just finished. They had yeah. it with a different voice. Now he's back to the original Once voice. Here. And uh, it wasn't till 20, you know, till the revival uh, this century that we get canine. Yes. Cool. Mm-hmm. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Any more about Skagroth? Skagroth. Really cool villain. He was cool. Played really well. Very unique. Yeah, good acting choice. Good story overall. Everybody in that is good. Mm-hmm. Even John Cleese's. Let us know Can't your thoughts in the comments below. Also, your favorite villain up to date. Yeah. Is it the Double X? Is it the uh, Cyberman? Is it one of the one shots? Is it uh, one of the good old standbys? Weeping Angels, you know? Yeah, we haven't seen those yet. I still like um, Omega. Yeah, Omega was good. It was cool. Yeah, Rasslon, Omega, and the other one. (laughs) (laughs) All right, we'll see you next week. Hopefully, Megalos. Bye bye. Bye bye. (laughs) Uh, Hopefully, Meg will find wherever she (laughs) wants. We'll be here to talk about it for about three.